Today at 6. One local school district's enrollment is so high this year that the high school is nearly at capacity. And a program that's going to put books into the hands of students at one Green Bay Elementary School. With more reporters in more neighborhoods across Northeast Wisconsin, this is NBC 26 News with Nina Sperano. Welcome and thanks for joining us at 6. We're here in Green Bay at Tank Elementary School and a little later we're going to tell you about a special program that's putting new books into the hands of elementary school students here at Tank. But first let's go to De Pere, where one local school district will start classes on Thursday with some of its schools either at or near capacity. Your De Pere neighborhood reporter Carl Winter tells us how high enrollment is putting a strain on facilities at De Pere High School. The largest enrollment in school history is set to fill the hallways of De Pere High. Senior Andrew Hoy says the parking lot can be chaotic with campus near capacity. Like from one end to the other, just a line of cars. Yeah, that can be really tough. Um, kind of stressful too, driving in the parking lot. Superintendent Chris Thompson acknowledges the drawbacks of high enrollment. You see very crowded hallways. You do see situations where teachers are not assigned to a specific classroom, but work out of multiple classrooms depending on their availability. But says it does give the district flexibility. It's a nice problem to have because it does afford us um, some funding potential that other school, school districts that have declining enrollment um, face. We don't face that. 1,459 students are enrolled at De Pere High School this year, just 41 short of the building's maximum capacity of 1,500. Foxview Intermediate School is at 670 students this year, more than its official capacity of 650. The superintendent says the district started closing open enrollment and did not accept any new high school students this year, but Hoy said students come from all around the area to attend De Pere. I definitely do think people in the community see De Pere um, and see what we're doing and think it's desirable as a, a school. De Pere School District was ranked as a top 35 district statewide last year, and Thompson hopes it can continue that reputation by maintaining small class sizes. We provide our students in our community a fantastic education, and we just want to make certain that our facilities can be part of that support piece. The district's Community Facilities Task Force will recommend high enrollment solutions to the school board next month, which may include an addition here or an entirely new school. In De Pere, I'm Carl Winter, NBC 26.